now let's talk about the image button image button is a variation of the button control instead of creating its own UI as normal button it makes a specified image as a button okay this is slightly difference in the way how it behaves in compared with the ASP button control okay so it means that image button control doesn't have its own UI whatever you image you will specify it will make that image as a button and it will act accordingly so uh, the how to of this image button is how to specify image as a button and fire server side event okay let's see here here we have uh, uh, now I'm again copying pasting the code to save some time so let's see here I have a button image button control and notice that he its image URL is .NET logo .gif. So, and this .NET logo .gif is in my uh, root folder and uh, its border width is one alternate text is go to .NET and on click event we are specifying go to .NET Funda as a server side method now let's go ahead and uh, copy paste the go to .NET Funda uh, server side method as well into the code behind so here is my code behind go to dot net funda now remember that if it was on click then it was the event argument was simple event ergs and e but when it is a image a button then the event argument will be image click event arguments okay the second parameter will be not in event ar arguments but it will be image click event arguments and then <laughs> under this method whatever we want to perform we can perform it so here we are doing response dot redirect and specifying the URL where it has to redirect and then true so that the response will get end here now let's see this let us run this page and you can see that okay there is some problem here I think closing form tag was missing okay so this image has become acting like a button when I will click this image then our server side met method go to dot net funda will fire and it will basically redirect it to dot net funda dot com web server. so let us see it is redirecting to dot net funda dot com website fine now let's move on to the next how to the next how to is how to fire a javascript function on click of ASP image button okay it is similar to the other uh, normal button control okay where you have to specify on client click so let's see that instead of click uh, specifying on click event we can specify on client click alert me and then return and I'm, I'm going to declare one JavaScript function here a script type is equal to text JavaScript function a lot and it return false <coughs> in this JavaScript function you can write anything you want okay there is no there is no limitation so now let's see now when I will run this page what will happen is that because on client click we have a specified uh, JavaScript function so uh, when I will click this particular image then this alert me JavaScript function will fire and it will give me the alert hi okay so this is the way to basically you know uh, uh, fire a JavaScript function on click of the image button now let us see how to apply CSS style from the server side to ASP uh, image button control it is similar to all other controls like button or uh, label control or even text box control but let's see let me show you how to do that so here we are going to apply the CSS style okay so let's go ahead and to the code behind and in the page load event we will access this image button control using its ID its ID is IMG DNF so IMG DNF dot border color I am saying system dot color 
system dot drawing dot color dot red and img dnf dot border style I'll say border style dot dotted and then img dnf dot border width I'll say unit dot pixel and then 15 pixel or maybe 5 pixel I can say okay now what will happen is that when this page will run this image will be applied with these many CSS styles border color border style and width let me refresh this page and now you can see that border color is red border style is dotted and border width is 15 pixel now the next how to uh, is related with <coughs> image ASP image control is used to display an image on the page okay so how to specify the alternate text of the image button so that if image is not available the text displays okay it's very simple you will have to basically use the alternate text property and set the text that you want to display in case image is not available so let me copy paste the code again here is here is my code and in this what I'm going to do is that in the first ASP image control we are displaying uh, we, um, our image URL is itfunda.gif and in the second ASP image control our URL is itfunda1.gif notice here is that we do not have itfunda1.gif but we have itfunda.gif it means that first image control will display the image properly but second will not when the image will not get displayed because of unavailability of the image on the server then this alternate text will display because that's what I have set into the alternate text property of the ASP image control okay so let's see you can see that first image is displaying because itfunda.gif is there in my uh, in my directory but second image is not getting displayed because itfunda1.gif is not there that's why in place of second image thus alternate text is displaying that is alternate sorry that is itfunda.com logo now the next how to is how to fire javascript function on click of the image okay it is very similar uh, to the way we had done for other uh, controls let, let, let me show you how that so this is my image and I'm going to copy the javascript code as well here now let us let me format this out and here what we have is that we have we have a image control on click of the image control now notice here that there is no on click uh, event here okay because we are not talking about server side clicking event we are just talking about javascript click uh, click so instead of using on client click that is not available here we can directly write on click so on on click we can specify the javascript function and we can define the javascript function and whatever we want to write into the javascript function we can write it out and that javascript function will fire let me run this page again so this is my image when i will click it image was clicked alert message is coming from the javascript function the next how to will talk about how to apply css style to the image this so let me apply some CSS style for this particular image and the ID of this image is img1 so I will go ahead and go back and simply I will just copy paste this ID so now what we are doing is that we are trying to apply the border color border stand and border width of this particular image 1 img1 so when I will browse this page what will happen is this is that all the CSS style that I have applied through the server side in the page load event gets applied on this particular image you can notice here that border color border style and width is coming now in case I just need to display the image should I use ASP image control or HTML IMG tag in which scenario ASP image control should be used to display the image this is very important uh, point generally uh, you know a lot of people simply use ASP, ASP image control but the problem with ASP image control is that because it is a server side uh, control so whenever you are writing ASP image control it gets processed on the server but if you write IMG SRC 
our img html tag because it is client side so there is no need of processing on the server so let me show you one by one this is the html img image tag this is the html img tag and then we are also copying and pasting this asp image okay now first let us run this page and see what is happening here now you can see that okay here we do not have iit funda i one dot jf so i just renamed the uh, file name now here you can see that both img html img tag or asp image is giving me the same result but in case of the second code it means that asp image control this particular code is getting processed on the server side and then it is being converted into the normal html img con img tag see here here the first one that we had written and this is the second one now in case you need to specify the image url from the code behind or your image url is dynamic that is coming from the database or some uh, or based on some processing then you can use asp image control because you have ability to access the uh, image url from the code behind like this and now i can change to dot net logo dot gif so now what will happen now this asp image control will not display itfunda.jif but it will display dot net funda dot com logo see here so the point here i just that i wanted to make here is that in case your uh, image url is coming from the server or dynamically being generated then you can use asp image control but if you already know the url of the image and it is a static then you should always use html uh, uh, html img tag because it is much much faster it doesn't get processed on the server okay now next we are going to learn about hyperlink asp hyperlink control allows us to write anchor tag on the page that can be programmatically manipulated okay let us see this let me copy paste this code again and uh, here is my code oops okay and here what we have is that in the first hyperlink control we have specified navigate url is equal to dot net funda dot com and in case of second one we are navigating to the default dot aspx page we can also change the url to whatever you want for example we are changing to post to another page result dot aspx page now what will happen is that when we will uh, refresh this page I think there is some reference in the code behind so I'm going to remove this when I'll refresh this page what will happen is that it will give us two uh, hyperlink control you can see that these are two hyperlink control when I'll click on the first link it will go to the dot net dot com when I click on the second link it will go to the post to another result dot aspx page you can see here post to another result dot aspx page so it is as good as keeping a normal html hang anchor tag on the page but again the same thing applies if you have to uh, you know uh, if your navigate url is coming dynamically or com coming based on certain conditions then you can use asp hyperlink control if uh, your uh, url to redirect is static then you can use simple anchor tags now how to decide whether i should use HTML anchor tag or ASP hyperlink control on my page. As I just now covered, that if your, you know, uh, if your uh, navigate URL is a static uh, URL, then you can use a simple anchor tag like this. Go to default dot aspx page, and if your URL is dynamic, then you can use you know you can use uh, asp hyperlink control 
So now how to specify an image as hyperlink in ASP.NET or HTML. In order to specify an image as hyperlink in ASP.NET or HTML, what we can do is that we can use, first I'm talking about the ASP.NET, so we can use the image URL property okay, of the hyperlink control. So here what I have done is that we have a specified image URL property and we have a specified the URL of the image that I want to display as a hyperlink. As a hyperlink means when I will click that then it will redirect to dotnet .com. Let us see. You can see here is that let me remove the earlier code. Now this image is is acting as a hyperlink when I will click this image then it will go to the dotnet .com. Okay, because I have a specified image URL of the ASP hyperlink control and I have a specified navigate URL to http www.dotnetfunda.com. Okay, so this is the way to specify uh, an image as a hyperlink in ASP.NET. Now to do that into the uh, in, in, in the HTML, what we can do is that we can simply write the image tag as a child element of the anchor tag. So let me show you this. Here, this is my anchor tag and under that anchor tag, instead of specifying, specifying the text, we have a specified img tag and we are again specifying the SRCI attribute as the image URL. So what it will do, it will again behave similarly. It will again uh, make this .nfunder.com logo as a, as a hyperlink. When I, when I will click this, then it will move to our, sorry, it, it is default.aspx is the URL. Let me just change this to .netfunder.com and it will now when I will refresh this page when I will click the second image it will again go to the .netfunder.com website. Now how to remove the border that by default comes when an image is specified as a hyperlink. You must have noticed here that uh, uh, when uh, we were displaying those those images as a hyperlink then uh, by default this image border is coming okay so in order to remove these borders what we can do is that we can specify a style and border <coughs> is zero pixel now what will happen you can notice that the second uh, image is not coming uh, with, with the border Okay, it is simply just displaying the image. So you can specify the style attribute and specify border as zero pixels, so that will remove the border from the image. Now, next thought is how to remove the border that by default comes when a and sorry, this is the typo when an image is specified as a hyperlink using hyperlink control. So uh, in order to do that, what we can do is that we can use this kind of code. Now here notice that I have used ASP hyperlink control and instead of specifying image URL we have specified a child element of this particular hyperlink as a ing tag and a specified border as 0 pixel okay and that will basically remove the border from the image. Now you may say that why to do that why don't we just navigate we can say uh, image url to dot net funder dot logo dot gif but in this case what will happen is the border will come and there is no way where we can specify that you know border style equal to zero for this particular image that's why we have removed this image url from the asp hyperlink control and we had kept this img uh, src sorry html img tag into the as a child control of this hyperlink 